but somewhere inside of you, you're doing what you're doing because you believe you deserve more. That is the key. That is the great separator between people who are mediocre and people who are exceptional. Have you ever wondered what it is that motivates some people to do more and to be more, even though they don't necessarily have to, there's just something within them. For example, some people work out all the time, even though strictly speaking, it's not really necessary because modern society forgives people who are out of shape. It's the truth. Modern society has a lot of conveniences, a lot of things that make it easy to be out of shape. But some people still, despite the opportunities to be in terrible shape, choose to be more and do more to get themselves into better shape. So we're going to discuss today what exactly is behind that. This is Mark Johnson, your fitness ambassador from Bounce Pep and the youngest son of Bill Johnson. Now, let me just go into this by explaining that I'm not saying any of this as a put down. I'm going to talk about mediocrity and mediocre people. And you've probably heard other people talk about mediocrity and mediocre people, and it can sound condescending. And I want to make it clear to you that that is not my intention. I'm simply stating a fact about human nature and about the way the world works. OK, that's all this is. So if you know people who are mediocre, guess what? That's fine. Most people are just middling. That's fine. It's not some flaw. That's just how most people are. But there are some people who are exceptional, okay? And they tend to be in the minority. That's just the way the world works. So that's what we're talking about here. Now, the thing is, let me say this. What holds most people back from being more and doing more is not an inherent lack of ability, okay? Most people have the capability of doing it if they would only take the actions. You see, what holds most people back, what holds most people in place and keeps them mediocre is that they're not willing to do what it takes to, to, to become more than what they are, okay? They're just not willing to do what it takes. And so effectively, not everyone can do everything. In effect, not everyone can do everything because most people simply aren't willing to do what it takes. With that said, um, so this, you know, this is a question of follow through. Most people won't follow through with the actions that they need to take to be great or to be exceptional or to produce some kind of exceptional outcome. So what, you may ask, is going on there? Why won't they do it? I believe there is typically one of three things that will hold a person back from doing more to become more than what they currently are, okay? The very first thing is fear of struggle. Most people understand that in order to achieve an extraordinary outcome, it's gonna take some extraordinary effort and it's not all gonna be fun, it's not all going to be easy. And that turns a lot of people off. They just don't want to go through the struggle, okay? Number two is kind of a lack of confidence. A lot of people just don't believe that they can do it. They really doubt their ability to do something. And so that stops them from doing more and becoming more, okay? The third one, actually, you know, I started this off by talking, I mentioned the word willingness. And this third one actually is a little bit different. It's not really about willingness when you get right down to it. So this third thing that stops people is just a lack of vision. This is when they simply can't even see it for themselves. So of course, if you don't even recognize something, then if you're, you know, if you have no awareness, then you're not going to be able to follow up and do anything about that thing. Now, let's flip this around and talk about those people who are, for whatever reason, more motivated and more dedicated to being 
more and achieving more in their life. What is it again that makes them different? And we'll just go back to the example that I know you can relate to. A lot of you are working out all the time, okay? Which is a great, great thing and I want you to keep it up. I want you to ask yourself, what exactly is it at, at base that's driving you to do that? Because I believe I know the answer, but I'm gonna give you a second to just think about it for yourself. What do you think it is? Fundamentally, that drives you to do more than other people when it comes to your fitness and perhaps when it comes to other areas in your life. I, I find that a lot of people who keep themselves in really, really good shape tend to be higher achievers. They're, they're a bit better than just mediocre, okay? So they're outpacing the vast pool of mediocrity out there. What do you think it is? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I think whether or not this is something that you verbalize to yourself or not, the truth of the matter is, you simply believe that you deserve more. And you may have heard me say this before if you've seen some previous podcasts and previous videos that we've put out there. You deserve more. This may not be something that you think to yourself explicitly, and certainly not that you verbalize to yourself, but somewhere inside of you, you're doing what you're doing because you believe you deserve more. That is the key. That is the great separator between people who are mediocre and people who are exceptional. Exceptional people, which are really a small minority. I mean, you're talking about five, six, seven percent of people maybe, okay? They, on some level, believe that they deserve more, okay? And I think that when you're in the habit of working out, you're kind of tapping into that mindset of, you know, I deserve more. And that's a great thing. I want you to, I want you to, if, if you haven't really thought that thought to yourself explicitly, I want you to start thinking that to yourself. Just start thinking to yourself, I deserve more. That's going to bleed outside of the gym, actually. It's going to start to carry over into other areas of your life if it already is not doing so or has not done so. You're going to start to really feel that you deserve more, okay? So I want you to keep on working out and sticking with it because the truth is you do deserve more. So with that being the base, what are uh, uh, just one or two more keys, okay, to outpacing mediocrity? There's a lot of mediocrity out there, okay? Well, one of them is this, okay? You have to be willing to do differently than most people. You've got to do something different. If you're doing the same thing, that everyone is doing, you're going to get the same outcomes. There's really no way of getting around that. Okay, so you've got to be doing something differently than everyone else. The second thing is you have to be willing to do more, okay? And this just comes down to effort. Sometimes you are going to have to put in more effort. Now, back to the first point about the, the, you know, doing something differently. Sometimes if you do something differently, it can be so effective that you can actually do less. You can do something different and do less and get superior results compared to the average Joe or the average Jane, because you're doing something that not everyone is doing and it's so effective, it's so efficient, okay? And so you may not have to actually put in more effort, okay? That's great if that works, but there are some cases where, you know, you will still have to put in more effort than the average Joe, the average Jane is willing to put in, and that's okay. That's where you know persistence and dedication come in, putting in the reps. Sometimes you will have to put in the reps, just like when you're in the gym, putting in the reps, being persistent with it. You just keep going, keep going, you know, keep lifting. Sometimes that's how you achieve those exceptional outcomes. And just always remember that you deserve more. Let me get up in the camera. You deserve more, okay? If you have not subscribed, go ahead, please subscribe, hit the like button. I would appreciate it again. 
Again, this is Mark Johnson, your fitness ambassador from Bounce Pep, the youngest son of Bill Johnson. Talk to you next time.